Alright guys, welcome back, Tetra Ninja here for some more Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes and just in time for a cutscene right here. Could there be wolves in here? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. So the main reason why I knew that cutscene was coming up is because this is once again no longer a live commentary session, but just a regular commentary. And the main reason for that is because my original recording, when I first played through it, uh, the recording failed and I really didn't want to play through the same scene again, watch all the cutscenes and pretend it was the first time going through it because that would have been just pretty lame. So I'm just going to be straight up honest with you guys here. But this still is my very first playthrough through this, so if that gives you an idea. And what I was originally thinking was, I thought that Meryl was going to escort me through the snowy area and I'd be safe for the first time. Uh, it'd be only the t uh, second time coming back uh, after I'm trying to get the sniper rifle that I would run into the wolves. But obviously she's not here, so I remember that there are two wolves in this area, so just got to make sure that you tranquilize them. I, um, which is a good thing in this game because they give you the M9 so you can tranquilize the get, uh, the dog instead of shooting them so you don't have PETA all, all up in your ass, but yeah. And uh, it's just a matter of getting to the area now where you meet up with Sniper Wolf for the very first time and uh, you get a pretty uh, epic cutscene with uh, Meryl. But first we have to kind of get through the minefield and Meryl kind of gets like a little bit of flashback or like um, backlash of Psycho Mantis and she knows exactly where the mines are and where they're located. This place is mined. I'll take point again. Stay back, okay? But the radar isn't working. And since we can't use the mine detector either... <gasps> Leave it to me. So what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? Although that was impressive, uh, the faster way instead of just following the path for footprints is just to get on your sn uh, stomach like a snake and crawl across the minefield because you can pick up the claymores as you go and you won't trigger them. using me for bait to lure you out. Damn. Shoot me, Snake. 
No. My gun. I can't reach it but myself. Don't move! I promised I wouldn't slow you down. I... I can still help. I want to help you. Quiet down. Save your strength. I was a fool. I wanted to be a soldier. Uh, war is meaningless. Nothing comes out of war. Snake, please, save yourself. Go on living and don't give up on people. Don't forget me. Don't forget what I said. Now, get out of here. Meryl! Colonel? Snake! It's a trap! Waiting for you to go to help Meryl so he can pick you off. Don't do it! It must be Sniper Wolf, Foxhound's best shooter. Snipers usually work in pairs, but this one's alone, huh? I know her. She can wait for hours, days, or weeks. You'd expose yourself. Maybe so, but Meryl can't hold out that long. Snake, can you see Wolf from where you are? There's nowhere to hide between here and the tower. She must be... ...patient's tower, she can see you perfectly. It's the classic sniper's position. At that distance... ...either. You'll need a sniper rifle. I'm going to save Meryl, no matter what it takes. Okay. Thanks. What's wrong? There's a tendency toward murder written in your very genes. So saving someone else's skin is out of the question? I wouldn't go that far, but... I don't know what the hell my genes look like, and I don't care. I operate on instinct. Don't need an excuse. Okay. And I'm not doing it for someone else, either. I'm going to save Meryl for myself. Colonel... Don't worry. Snake. I'm sorry. Alright, so we're back. And once again, there are still mines on the ground. I don't know exactly where they are, so you still have to crawl the rest of the way. But you want to make sure that you don't take too long, because as you're crawling, Meryl is continually getting shot at as well as yourself, so uh, don't take your sweet ass time trying to get there as quickly out of that door as quickly as possible. When you return, the mines are gone, and then it's just a straight up sniper battle with Sniper Wolf. But uh, what's the good thing about this game is that the sniper rifle, uh, well, originally I thought the sniper rifle wasn't as far as, as I thought it would be, but it ended up the one that was close to me and was the tranquilizer sniper rifle. I'm guessing that the lethal one is still in the armory, which was in the original game, as, uh, which was located in the original game. But to make yourself a little bit easier, uh, there's one located in the same building where you fought Psycho Mantis. But once again, that is the tranquilizer one, so uh, it's just really a matter of how quick you want to take it. If you want to be quick about it, uh, there's really no difference between using the tranquilizer gun uh, or using the or using the lethal gun in my opinion, uh, especially since you're going to be returned to the armory area anyways after you get through the torch scene. So at that point you can use uh, use that time to pick up the lethal sniper rifle. And uh, But that kind of takes away from the whole atmosphere, uh, even though it was a, really a bitch to go back all the way back to the armory to pick up the PSG-1, uh, the entire time it kind of added to the the atmosphere I guess if for lack of a better word uh, of the game because you're kind of rushing there trying to beat the clock because you, you're not you don't know uh, if you take any longer will Meryl die or not because if, if, if this was your first time playing that is so it's got a pretty epic run back and then but yeah you'll see eventually and a while back there you saw me take out that guy in the washroom out first because if you don't take him out by the time you get into this room uh, take out the first guard and then grab the PSG-1T. 
and then he'll be done pissing and then you'll have to take him out eventually and just get him out of the way now as his back's turned to you. And I guess this is the very first, first time that I have the time to talk to you guys. Uh, before someone, well, I'm not going to say it because someone probably already has typed in the comment boxes that I'm a douche or I don't know what I'm doing because I'm not playing the original one for the PlayStation. And <laughs> I've been dealing with this the very first day of the first episode went up on Respawn. But uh, anyways, uh, what you guys have to understand is I'm as a big Metal Gear fan as the rest of you guys are. I love the entire series, but what I'm going to say is if you're a true fan of the series, uh, you'll support the game, whatever platform it is on and it really doesn't matter. As well, you guys will have to realize that this is the first time that a lot of people, especially the younger crowd, is going to be seeing footage from this game because the, uh, the first original game came out a while ago and the majority of this community is fairly young. So uh, yeah, if, and as well, this, like I said, this is a gameplay commentary scene. And if you haven't played this game before, as well, if you're trying to make a video for it, uh, as my auto aim completely fails right there, uh, you want to go with better graphics. I know I'm, I personally myself am not a graphics whore, um, but for the sake of gameplay, um, this game this game on the GameCube just gave me a lot more options to play. And as well, I am planning something very, very special for some of the more diehard fans of the original series that will happen after this uh, Let's Play is done on Respawn. So uh, just don't get your panties in a knot. Uh, they were, I got something special planned with the original after this series, so uh, just bear with me here. And this, at this point right here, I realized that this PSG one was the tranquilizer version because I thought the one that I picked up originally was the lethal one. So I was like, what the hell? Why is it blue? And then I was kind of scratching my head at this point, so yeah. <laughs> And this upcoming boss battle is going to be very, very, very painful for both you to watch as well for me to rewatch because it was, I didn't do it as best as I could. I lost about a quarter of my health bar, but it still wasn't too, too bad, especially since it was my very first run through. I didn't, I could have probably replayed it again and tried to capture some elite footage for you guys, but what else? So, uh, my best advice for you guys, at this point I was trying to figure out how to use the gun and you're gonna see me fumbling around with the controllers a bit. Uh, the main thing that I really do miss from the original game, if I were playing it, are, is the PlayStation controller uh, because the game is just so fumbly, especially on the GameCube controller and me, I'm bouncing between my Xbox and my PlayStation. I've been playing a lot of Black Ops on, on my Xbox as well as a lot of Assassin's Creed on my PlayStation, so uh, bouncing back between all of the of those controls back to the GameCube controller uh, is kind of throwing me off here. So I guess that's my excuse if you want to say it, call it that, as you see bad shooting right here. Uh, the, the analog on my my Wafer controller. I really wish it, there was a way to adjust it, but I didn't, but whatever. So for this uh, boss fight, it's probably standard as you can see. Um, just trace her around, uh, take out, take your Pentazamin pills uh, anytime you can. Uh, what, what that'll do is it will, it's, it's a drug that Sniper Wolf also takes, it steadies your aim a bit, so yeah, it just helps you a lot. And while I was fighting this boss battle, the, I was just overcome by just a sense of nostalgia when I was just going about sniping. Uh, it's, uh, this The second time, uh, well, bo boss battles in Metal Gear games have always been awesome. Like I said in the Psycho Manager's boss battle that we just had in the last episode. But this boss battle, as well as the second time, more, well, mainly the second time that you fight her in that snow field, it just ranks up there with one, some of the most memorable boss battles in my entire video game history. Um, when I think boss battles, uh, what really come to mind are the ones from the Metal Gear Solid series. And like I said in the last episode, you really, once you get to, if you, re you really feel a sense of attachment towards these these characters that you that you're essentially trying to kill and at the very end when you finally do meet sniper wolf for the second time and you have that scene with Otacon it just um, kind of just like tugs on your heartstrings. As well when you replay the game again you kind of pick up on all those hints throughout the entire game which you can't believe that you missed in the first place and headshots are worth a lot as you can see right there against her stamina bar. 
such as all the hints such as the uh, DARPA chief getting killed at the very beginning, um, as well as when I was when I played this game for the very first time uh, when it was first released, I was thinking to myself before the scene, why didn't Sniper Wolf just shoot the snake at the very beginning just to make her life easier? Why did he have to take out Meryl? Why did she have to go after Meryl first? Uh, wouldn't it wouldn't have been easier just to shoot Snake in the first place, uh, just to save her some time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, like I said, uh, once you replay the game again, you pick up on everything and all the hints that Kojima worked in, which really does uh, make this game and distinguishes it from a lot of other games out there. Those little small touches that really define the game and what makes the series in general very, very great. But yeah, as you can see, uh, boss battle ends right there and took about a quarter of my health bar which is kind of embarrassing like I said and this scene right here there's supposed to be a cutscene in the original game there was uh, where you kind of reminisce and have a flashback about Meryl uh, they kind of left that out in this game for, for some odd reason I don't know why and I'm um, just kind of searching uh, about here for items and I didn't see this camera on top of my head and just shoot me a couple times which is uh, kind of sad but anyways so yeah, uh, the video is about to come to an end right here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, die hard Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid fans uh, who, are, uh, who are just screaming for me to play the original one. Uh, like I said, don't worry. There is going to be something very special for you guys coming up at the very end of the series. And I'll see you guys next time. It's hard to miss when you're this close. Toss your weapon over here. Slowly. You're a fool to come back here. Stupid man. A lady sniper, huh? Don't you know that the majority of the world's great assassins are women? Do you want to die now? Or after your female friend? Which will it be? I'll die after I kill you. <laughs> Is that right? Well, at least you've got spirit. I'm Sniper Wolf, and I always kill what I aim at. You are my special prey. Got it? I've left my mark on you. I won't forget it. Until I kill you, you're all I'll think about. Take him away! Don't kill him yet. I want him alive. Leave it to me. I want no more accidents like that DARPA chief. Yeah. Mine alone. Can you hear me, Solid Snake?